Fresh off its worldwide developer conference in 2019, or simply WWDC, Apple has unveiled iOS 13, the newest version of the iPhone operating system. And while users will have to wait until the fall, when all the bugs are ironed out and the software is fully ready, developers can try it out right now. We have just installed iOS 13 on our iPhone XR here, and it's a lot of fun. But before we dive into the details, we should warn you that this is a very early beta and that you probably should not try it out just yet, especially if it's your main device. The one feature that Apple says it focused on was to keep improving the performance, making apps not only load quicker, but also making them faster to download from the App Store. One other thing that Apple has improved in iOS 13 is Face ID unlock speeds, which are now up to 30% faster. And you can see right here in our demo that the iPhone XR with iOS 13 indeed unlocks a little bit faster than the iPhone XS with iOS 12. The big news with iOS 13 is dark mode. It's a brand new system-wide option that turns backgrounds and settings and practically all first-party apps made by Apple and dark and it looks gorgeous. You can enable it manually via control center and a long press on the brightness slider or via the display menu and settings. We also love that dark mode can be set to automatically start at sunset or at a preset time so you don't have to manually switch it on and off every single time. Third party apps will also get the option to support dark mode so expect a lot of apps turning darker this fall. With dark mode, you also get four new wallpapers on the iPhone. All of them look great and change as you switch between the modes. Unfortunately, the one place where you would probably need dark mode the most in the browser does not fully support it, or at least it doesn't transform the background of web pages to a dark background. You would also notice that icons all throughout iOS are now a bit thicker and better contrasted, a welcome change. The second big new feature is support for swipe typing on the native keyboard. Now this is a feature that Android phones have had for years, while iPhones only supported swipe typing via third-party apps. Now, finally, you can do swipe typing on the native keyboard, and it works great. Apple has also upgraded the Memoji avatars, and you can now create a more fun and personal representation of yourself. Those avatars will also serve as profile pictures for iMessage and with every avatar you get a selection of stickers that you can use across different apps. A small but welcome improvement comes to the volume slider. It's no longer obstructing the view right in the center, but instead appears more elegant and gentle to the side. A single click on the volume keys gives you a bigger on-screen bar that you can drag with your fingers, while further clicks will minimize it. Apple has also improved a few of its native apps. The one that got the biggest new features is Reminders, where you can now tag people, create sublists, and just do a lot more. The Health app in iOS 13 is also much richer and provides a lot and better organized detail. New here is cycle tracking for women, which is done within the Health app and is very clearly and well laid out, so women will not need to use third-party apps for that. We should also mention that the new Photos app gives you four different views, so you can explore your photos better. It looks great and the previews change with time, so you can see what happened in the same exact period last year and earlier. Editing photos has also become much easier in the app with cleaner and more precise controls in the form of dials. You also have a new intelligent sharing menu all throughout the system which is much tidier and more intuitive and looks like a vertical list with a few suggestions at the top. There is a bunch of other new features too. You can now connect two separate pairs of AirPods to the same device. It seems that Apple is replacing 3D touch with long taps. There is a new protection from spam callers that puts those messages directly into your voicemail. Apple is introducing a new alternative to social sign-ins from Facebook and Google with a new sign-in with Apple service that is completely private, doesn't track you, and the list of features just goes on and on. The new iOS 13 is rolling out this fall to the iPhone 6s, iPhone SE and newer iPhones, which means that the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 have reached the end of their software update cycle and will forever remain on iOS 12. 
Overall, this is a big, big update for iPhone users that improves the performance of the system and brings welcome new features. We can't wait to see it arrive to millions of iPhones this fall. And this rounds up our first look at iOS 13 Beta 1. Let us know your thoughts about the new look of iOS. My name is Vic and I will talk to you next time right here on Phone Arena.